Hi guys, uh, we got another unboxing video here. Um, ordered this because I need something for free uh, super saving shipping. And well, uh, we'll see if I like it or not. Don't have any, uh, don't know if I will or if I won't. So this is, this is going to be interesting to see. Um, by the way, I'm filming this with my new camera. So... Hopefully we can get rid of all these uh, focus problems and of course the time I don't have a knife handy. So when I need one I thought I could just be able to pull that open but not. I'll use my normal letter opener. Oops, sorry for bumping the thing. No wonder I couldn't open it before. There we go. Wasn't very well sealed if you ask me if I could just do that. Well, here is what I got. Put this cardboard aside, I can test on that later. You might real recognize that. Let me zoom in for you. Yes, it's a buck knife. All right, let me open it up. I'll actually do that on camera. And there is a knife. Oh, I should say, now there is a knife. There we go. Comes with a forever warranty card, and that's about it. And this is the uh, Bantam uh, BLW. I can give you all the, the things, but the, the category number is 5761. Uh, so... There are a lot of good and bad reviews on this knife out there. I figured for 15 bucks I'll give it a try. I'll open it up. And there it is. And the one thing I didn't have ready and I didn't think about was actually phone book paper to test it on. Regular paper, arm here. You name it. So, let me get a piece of uh, phone book paper out here. Very cruelly ripped out too, but there we go. All right, that's what you can see for looks anyway. Let me grab a little cotton square here and wipe the blade off. So it looks like it's quite oily and dirty. It does feel lightweight, and it's. Still dirty and very off balance. Very off balance. It is extremely nose heavy. Which I guess was okay. It's got a liner lock back. If you haven't seen before, this is never going to be a fl uh, flicker because of the liner. Or excuse me, the uh, la uh, back lock on it. But it does have thumb studs both sides. It is strictly a tip down carry. Oof. And it does lock in there with a little bit of play. A little bit up and down play. Okay. But no side to side play. How well is it centered? It's centered pretty well. This is a USA made knife to get rid of their China production. There's no way to adjust this knife at all. It's all riveted in place. The only thing that's removable is the pocket clip which is skeletonized. So let's do a sharpness test here. And I was so ill prepared for this. And again, I'll roll in all the, the stats and information at the end of the video. Uh, I guess that'll help. Definitely very sharp. See, it handles this paper like it's nothing. Except for my part there, but... So you handle this, this stuff like it's nothing. Let's try foam book paper. I 
Little bit of catching and tearing, but not bad. You know, for a price, I think this was $13 when I grabbed it. Something right around there. Needs a little hone, but otherwise not bad. I could actually hone it up right now. I got my strop on the table to do that. But we got one last test. See if I can find some arm here for you guys somewhere around here. Underneath the light. And... It is sharp enough. I'm hoping you can see this to cut off arm here. So that's really nice. That's that's nice. So the grip is okay. It's a little bit on the slippery side, but not bad. It's a little too shallow for my liking. It could be been a little bit deeper. It does have jimping on the handle, but not on the blade. Does have some jimping on the back here too. So I'll give you a nice grip here for your thumb. First impressions, it's okay. Not great. Not bad. The blade sharpness and the blade are awesome. The balance is off. It could have really done with a maybe a steel liner. Right, you have some more weight in the, the rear because Gee, this thing is balanced horribly. It is so front heavy. Would have been a little bit better. That's my major complaint there. But hey, for, for something to, for me to get free uh, super shave, ah. For something for me to get free super saving shipping, I finally said it right. Not bad. I mean, I would have paid. What was it, $12 for shipping otherwise? So, this really only cost me, it was, I think, 13 bucks, 13 or 15 bucks. So, whether it cost me a buck or three bucks, that's well worth it in that, in that situation. Otherwise, I would have had to pay the shipping. Thanks for watching.